You are about to enter the courtroom. The cases are real. The people are real. The rulings are more like suggestions. This is Judge Vanessa, otherwise known as Vanessa Judgens. This is the plaintiff, Veronica Merrill Burris. She says the defendant, Aaron Merrill Burris, leaves the toilet seat up too regularly. She's seeking damages and emotional distress for falling in the toilet in the middle of the night. She says she's afraid of the toilet and is fearful to sit on it. And this is the defendant, Aaron Merrill Burris. He has no idea why he is here. When asked about the complaint, he claimed it was not a big deal and the plaintiff is overreacting. She's here to prove him wrong. All rise for the Honorable Judge Nessa, AKA Vanessa Judgins. Sorry, there's ants everywhere. I had a cookie earlier. <clears throat> the court is now in session. Mr. and Mrs. Merrill Burris. It says here you've been married for a year? And six months. And five days. Right. It says here that you are looking for resolutions to a couple of complaints you have about the defendant in regards to your marriage. Tell me about this toilet situation. Yes, Your Honor. By the way, May I add? You look amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Your Honor, she's obviously trying to butter you up so you side with her. And it's working. Proceed. Okay, so it was three o'clock in the morning. I woke up to go to the bathroom. Keep in mind, I wear contacts, so they were out and I couldn't see well. I had to walk over all of these piles of dirty laundry just to get to the bathroom. All the lights were off because I didn't want to disturb my partner's slumber. Mm, very considerate. Proceed. They're her piles of dirty laundry. Order! In my courtroom, I will be addressed as your honor. Miss Veronica, how do you put up with this? I only like him because he's tall and he helps me reach the top shelf. Wait, that's it? Oh, um, and uh, you're strong. I am strong. Ugh, I lost my train of thought after I was so rudely interrupted by Frankenstein. Proceed. It's actually Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's the doctor. Potato, potato, go. Yes, let's see. Without turning on the lights, I stumble into the bathroom and I go to sit down on the toilet and then all of a sudden, splash, I'm in the toilet. Aaron left the toilet seat up and I practically fell in. Oh, what a monster. <sighs> Your Honor, how long is this gonna take? I mean, it's lunchtime and I'm getting kind of hungry. Order in the court, a food order. Time to order some chicken nuggies. Um, let's see, okay, Coke and fries. Ooh, a discount. Everyone, I need an order minimum of $40 to hit the discount. Bailiff, please hand this to everyone so they can order. Oh, uh, hey Ronnie, do you want anything? No, thank you. I'm not hungry. Aha! Your Honor, I have a counter complaint. I would like to call a witness to the stand. A waiter from our favorite restaurant. Mario? What is he doing? Bailiff, swear him in. But I don't have a Bible. Well, I don't either. Oh, I have a Bible app. That will work, yeah. Tell the truth. Don't not tell the truth. I do. Um, who are you? It's me, Mario. Okay, please share. Hello, Mario. Do you recognize this youngish lady over here? I do. It's Ronnie. And uh, Mario, do you recall what Miss Ronnie said on a date night about two weeks ago? Yes. I read the daily special. Mr. Aaron asked, Ronnie, are you hungry? And she said, no. I'm not, I will just have a drink. And then? And then, when Mr. Aaron's food shows up, <laughs> she proceeded to eat all of Mr. Aaron's food, even after I read the daily special. <laughs> it's okay. I know it's tough to watch a man go hungry, especially after he trusted his wife when she said she wasn't hungry. Even if she's a little bit hungry, she should order her own food. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> I know, Mario. I know. Your Honor, no further questions. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> Mr. Aaron, that was such an emotional testimony that I'm, I'm inclined to side with you because I, I know what it feels like to still be hungry after ordering just the right amount of food. It's not a nice feeling, Your Honor. And I know this because just a moment ago, I was really hungry and I wanted to order some chicken nuggies and so I passed the phone around for you to place your order, but what did you do instead? You told us a story about how you don't like sharing your food and you wasted all of our time. Fine, I'll go ahead and order, okay? Here, um, there. I also want chicken nuggets. Ronnie, are you sure you're not hungry? Uh, not for a full meal. I'll just have a couple of yours. See? That's my point. I'm not wasting my time. If anyone loves wasting my time, it's my lovely wife. I literally have to tell her that we need to get to places 50 minutes early just so that we have a chance of getting there on time. I knew it. That's why I take so long. I don't like that you're being dishonest about the time it takes us to be somewhere. Well, I don't like being late. Well, I would have more time if you didn't spring up plans last minute. Last minute? I could literally tell you plans weeks ahead and we'd still be late. Oh yeah? Name a single time that you did that. I can name every time because it's every time. Finish placing the order! Can you get the phone, please? Ow! Thank you. Place, order, meet at door. Miss Veronica, is this true? Yes, it's true. We would've been late to this if I hadn't told you it started earlier than it did. I don't know how long it takes me to get ready. Always late. Is there, every day is all a different the time. day. I, every single do I day. Do change my outfit? I because change I don't all the like clocks. The one that I'm wearing? Nothing you know, works. Sometimes, Nothing but works. Yet, Always late. Was I talking to you, Mr. Aaron? No. And did Miss Veronica interrupt your testimony? No. So, psh. I, I just don't like being late. Besides, I'm well aware of how late she tends to be. We were late to school every single day. I'm sorry, Your Honor. At breakfast in the cafeteria, they would serve these little fruit cups. And I loved those fruit cups. But guess who rarely got her fruit cups because we were always late? Sometimes it was dad's fault. Don't interrupt me. And yes, sometimes it was his fault. Hey. Regardless, I didn't get my fruit cup. Aaron snores when he sleeps. He what? Aaron snores and I can't sleep. But objection, how am I supposed to know if I snore at night? I have proof. I call to the stand my witness, Guppy the Pug. Guppy, the betrayal. Guppy, tell the truth, nothing but the truth, okay? Guppy, what noise does that make at night when he sleeps? <laughs> Guppy, you're dismissed. <laughs> I'm still so confused. I think I need more evidence. Hey, what's in that evidence docket thing? It's the same evidence that you have up there. Okay, can you present the evidence, please? It's okay, we don't, we don't have to. It's, a, it's the same. Here you go. Hey, that's witness tampering. No, it's not. He's right. The ogre is right. This means that I need to bring in a witness. Please come forth, Andrew Burris. I can't believe you call me the ogre. Andrew Burris, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? Yeah. Okay. Andrew, um, it says in these documents that you have temporarily lived with Veronica and Aaron at their house. Can you please share your testimony and your experience living there with them? My experience? Hey, I'll buy you, bye. I mean, 
you're living with us. For rent free. I mean, we welcomed you into our home and I'll buy you a I computer. Make you, I make your bed. I wash your I bed. I will give you a car. I, I volunteer to do your laundry. I'll bring Pogi out here. I'll pay for your college. I'll get two Pogies. I think, I think, um. Ronnie, he's my we brother. Can watch, we can watch any no, of Andrew, you're my brother. Don't uh, listen to her. my brother in law, too. We're family. Now. Brothers first. We are family. Brothers Andrew, first. Andrew, Andrew uh, I will get you a Andrew, girlfriend. Andrew. Andrew is a. a he's my brother. He's my brother. He looks love. like me. He doesn't look like you. Order. Like order in the court. <gasps> Food order is here. Are my chicken nuggies in there? Yes. Yes. Dad. These chicken nuggets taste really, really weird. Dream. Hmm. Where am I? You're awake. <gasps> Andrew? The doctor will be with you shortly. Mario, you, you were in my dream. I was in the courtroom. Hi, Veronica. Your vitals are looking good. You were knocked out unconscious. What? How? Why did, what happened to me? Why am I here? Uh, looks like you fell into the toilet. Someone left the seat up. So, what's the verdict? Always put the toilet seat down, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Huge shout out to Aaron, Andrew, and Pablo for being in our video. You guys can go check out their stuff in the link in the description below. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, or if you want to see more sketches, like this video for sure, and leave a comment below. And thanks, thanks for watching. watching! If you want to subscribe to our channel, you should, by clicking this button right over here. We also <laughs> live stream every week on Thursdays at three o'clock if you want to subscribe to that channel you can subscribe right here check out some of the other videos we've done and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.